This is my Predator 38 RX that I've modified the belt tensioning system on. Uh, what I've done is I've done away with the original four bolts from here and put high tensile steel ones in um, with high tensile captured nuts on the back. Um, that way I can get a higher torque setting on those and uh, reduce the risk of these slipping back uh, once the tensioner is off. Uh, and it holds everything in place. I was having a few issues with that, as you well know. Um, so um, what we then do here is slacken these off half a turn, roughly each. Uh, use your gauge on the belts. I'm doing this with one hand, but um, you can see there, set to just under four at the moment. Uh, we take a spanner, 24 is it in this case. Turn this like so. And this pushes the cutting head back, reset the gauge, push that down to there, see that's now on four, we'll give it another couple of turns, so push that down again, you see that's now just over four, uh, in five, so then tighten these up, I'll just hand tighten them for now with that torque wrench for sake of uh, saving time. All of those tight. Like that. And then just to prevent any vibration stresses on the, the um, welds on this, because obviously everything's held on the cutting head bolts now, not on the tensioner, because it is just a tensioner, not a way of holding it. I just slacken that back off about five mil away from the push bar. And then, one last test, make sure it's all good, like so, bang on four.